Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me all over Twitter at AKNace, where we got a short and simple, really cool episode for you guys today. If you're doing any type of like beauty shots, glamour shots in the studio, outside of the studio, whatever, and uh, maybe the, the hair on the person is not exactly how you want it, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool, quick way you can use the liquify tool to kind of like shape everything back together. Now you can use this with anything you want, but uh, with hair, it really does apply especially well. So we'll just show you how to do it. This image is by George, and he won our contest last week for the side profile. Very, very cool. And uh, I just kind of want to clean up the hair a little bit. Not that it looks bad, but we can give it some shape, and I'll show you guys how to do it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit Command-J on the background layer. That duplicates it. And we're going to go to Filter, and then down here to Liquify. So the Liquify filter is basically a way for you to like push pixels around. And the tool that I would suggest using is this up there on the very top. It's called the Forward Warp tool. Now, when you're using this tool, there are a couple things you want to do. One is try to keep your brush small for anything that's small details, and then really large for larger details. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's go ahead and take care of our small details. Our density, keep around 30, and your pressure, you want about 30 as well, for the most part. So this sort of thing, I want to kind of even this out in the back of her head. So I'm not going to use a brush that's nearly this big. I'm going to go down here, and we're going to choose a brush that's a little bit smaller, something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and start pushing and pulling these in. So anytime I see something that's kind of sticking out, I'm just going to grab to the right and then kind of push in from the right to the left. There we go. And then you can do that from the left to the right as well. Maybe make our brush a little bit larger. There we go. So you can see our brush is still relatively small at this point, but we're already kind of like shaping this area a little bit. And what I want to do is basically get, you know, hair that's just a little bit more, um, that's a little bit more smooth looking. Let's maybe bring our size up just a little bit more to kind of push this in there. There we go. So hair that's just going to be a little bit more smooth. And we want to kind of start off small to get it smooth on like a small level so it's not like super jagged. And then when it's like relatively smooth or at least smoother than it was on a, uh, on a smaller level, then it's time to like really increase our brush size and make it, um, make it quite a bit bigger. And then you can do things on a little bit larger of a scale. All right, and we can kind of push some stray hairs and things like that too. Usually, you know, a lot of people want to get rid of stray hairs. What I'll do sometimes is I'll just like push them in and then it still looks like, you know, maybe you haven't gotten rid of them, um, but it looks like they're, they're then a part of the image. Okay, cool. So that's using the Liquify tool and that's with the small brush. Now what I'm going to do is really make our brush quite a bit larger. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to push and pull some of this hair and kind of like reshape it. And as I do it, I don't want like little areas to be pushed and pulled. Like I don't want to create little bumps in the hair. I want the whole hair to like kind of create a shape itself. So use a brush that's going to just affect a very large area. There we go. Something like that. And that's going to allow you to then, instead of, you know, creating something that's uh, just going to add like ripples or, you know, things like that, you can smooth out or shape, you know, an entire head of hair in this way. So I'm just kind of like pushing it around and pulling it and um, this way we can kind of define, maybe I wanted to kind of come in there on the bottom. And this is totally up to you, like however, however you want to do this. Work with your hairstylist, you know, if you're not sure maybe how this would look good, have your hairstylist come back over and uh, you guys can hang out, drink some coffee or whatever and then you guys can kind of do this together and your hairstylist will be like blown away. They'll be like, oh my god, this is so cool. I really like this, you know, and it's going to help them in future styles with the, like, if they couldn't get something as big as they wanted, be like, don't worry, I can take care of that in Photoshop. So that's kind of the idea. Um, so using a larger brush, we've kind of like now shaped all this hair. There we go. And um, yeah, it looks really good. You just want kind of like a nice curvature or a nice continuous shape for this type of image anyway. Every image is different, for, but for this one, this is what we wanted. So I'm going to hit OK there. And you can see without any like, you know, really you know, I'm not going in there and clone stamping or, you know, anything like that. We've gone from this, which is the before, to the after. So, again, we're just cleaning the hair up and making it, you know, making it one nice, neat shape. You, I affected her shoulder a little bit. In the end, that's not really that bad of a thing. It just kind of, like, pulls it in a little bit. Um, if you don't want to do that, simply just use a smaller brush and push around there and don't affect the shoulder. But in this case, I don't think it makes that big of a difference. So it's really quick. There's the before and the after. So if you want the like, you know, a little bit blown out look, just don't do this. But if you want something that's a little bit structured, the liquify tool is the perfect tool for the job. And uh, it's quick and easy. And that's the episode. It's done. See, you guys can do this on all your images. Your brides are going to love you. You just like pff, give them the big, awesome hair. And they're like, oh my God, it's awesome. It's so big. And you'll be like, yeah, whatever. I'm good at liquify tool. 
So that's it. Guys, thanks so much for watching Florent. If you guys did anything like this, please leave it in a comment down below, the before and after. I'd love to see how it works on your images as well. Thank you so much. I'll Florin you later. Bye guys. I need to do it to my hair. It's getting pretty poofy. Get some serious poof going on. Today I'm going to show you how the liquify tool can really help out with your hairdos in your images. That was a long intro. I'll redo it. You can use this one as luber. For more information on this episode, go to flurn.com. While you're there, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. These are the most in-depth Photoshop tutorials available on the internet. If you want one for free, just sign up for our newsletter following the link right down below and it'll be delivered to you instantly. We also feature exclusive interviews, written contents, inspiration from people like you as well as professional photographers. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.